When you don't know just quite what to do Do I ask her out or make love with my shoes On this just one gal who could answer it all answer And Sophie's on there, there. now let's have a ball Call me bye Hi YouTube, it's me, Aunt Sophie And welcome to Love Align, the most popular show in 2013 so far Today I have a very special guest A fellow Jew and single lady, Lauren Schnipper Thank you for having me, Aunt Sophie, but I hate to break it to you. I am no longer single. What? Did hell freeze over? The pigs actually fly? Yes, they did actually fly. Ugh. Look, first, looks like I win again. First the bet, then the man. Damn it. Well, why don't you tell everybody what the bet is? No, I about? don't like to talk just about that. It wasn't just tell them. 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 Alright, let me just say it ended in three nights in a holding cell in Minnesota, a bad case of the itches, and a tattoo of a large Mexican woman who claimed me as a chiquita on my left butt cheek. Well, at least this time you didn't lose anything? Yeah, just a chance to wear a huge ring and rub it in your punna. <laughs> it's a good thing I love it, Lauren. You ready to teach the youth of America a little bit about love, sex, and relationships? Let's do it. I like your spirit. First question! From the face place, Christy Garcia writes, Dear Aunt Sophie, how do I make my boyfriend more romantic? Okay, let's get one thing straight. Straight men are not romantic. They may pull a sappy move here and there, but that usually comes with a blowjob guarantee. So unless you want to be sucking your way to romance, I say give up on trying. At least you save your knees a little wear and tear, you know what I'm saying? Lauren? I don't know what you're talking about. My fiancé is Mr. Romantic. He cannot stop showering me with gifts and compliments. Uh, I mean, I have, to admit, I have to ask him to stop. I beg him to stop. Please, please. I have not heard that much bullshit since that time you told me that Shane fella you're walking for is straight. <laughs> or that time I told you you didn't look fat in that yellow tankini. I knew it! Damn it! Well, at least the pool boy didn't have any trouble throwing me up on the grill to grill me. Hey, yo! <laughs> Next question! From the Twitter book, at Kit Pink Ka asked, What do you think of a big age gap in relationships? Hashtag Ask Aunt Sophie. Oh, come on, who cares? I say, the younger, the better. That way you can turn those little beavers into the beautiful clunies you always wanted. And if it doesn't work out, just go for the fathers, you know? Keep it in the family! I completely agree with you on this one. I love being the Demi Moore in the relationship. Of course, minus the messy divorce and the awkward-looking children. Oh, yes. those kids, I tell you. But you know what? That's the fault of the ex-husband, an older man. Exactly. Go for the young, pretty mm -hmm. ones. And if your babies don't really turn out cute for whatever reason, adopt a black baby. People will think you're cultured. Oh. I'm good at this. Next question! Yeah! From the book of my face, Karen Gorm asks, how do I seduce someone? Three words, show your boobies. Men love boobs. Oh God, that's terrible advice. Absolutely not, you have to be subtle. Oh. Shoot him a flirty look or use some body language. My goodness, I didn't realize you were such a sexual purist. Well? Well, would you mind demonstrating for everyone these looks? Well, of course. Holy shit! Just when I thought the show couldn't get any creepier! God bless you, Lauren! Next question! Hey, Aunt Sophie. Um, so what do you do if you've liked your best friend for seven years and you finally got the courage to tell him, but he doesn't like you back? Kick him in the balls! Yep! You heard us. Kick him in the balls. All the focus will be on his pain, saving you the embarrassment of the rejection. And if you feel bad, you can just blame it on situational Tourette's. He can't be mad if you have a disease. Oh, you know what? That gets me thinking. Maybe you should tell him you're dying. I mean, he can't leave you if you're on your way out. That is the worst advice I've ever heard in my life. I love it. <gasps> you know what this calls for? Dance break! all the time we have for today. Lauren and I need to do Jewish lady things. You know, like eat locks and talk shit about everyone. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks so much for having me, Aunt Sophie. I feel like we gave some great advice. We really did. It was a pleasure having you. And thanks to all of you for watching. Now say it with me. Keep, Keep your, your chins up and your dicks down. Goodbye. I became a woman. Not at my bot mitzvah, but when I slept with a rabbi.
<laughs> yeah, let's just, I'm gonna keep rolling and you can do it again. You were literally staring at the page the whole time.